Hello, hello, and welcome. So, uh, my name is Oren, and this is what I hope is the first video of a series that I will be doing, showing off my love of the Eventide H90 right here, uh, when used in conjunction with a modular synthesizer. So let's go over what we have set up here first, before we get into patches and fun things. So what we have in front of me here is a Buchla clone system that I've been building over the past 10 years. Uh, it's got some fun modules, some modulation, uh, audio sources, kind of really cool things. And of course, like a source of uncertainty because we all need some uncertainty and random in life. In the middle right here, you see some kind of prototypes for something I'm working on that are uh, Buchla format modules that accept Eurorack modules power them, convert the voltages, and um, essentially allow them to play in the Buchla ecosystem. And all the way on the right here is the co-star of this series of shows. It's the Bifaco CV Thing. Um, it is one of a variety of modules that essentially takes CV in and output MIDI. Now there's a lot of modules that take MIDI and output CV, so you can uh, sequence modulars and do things like that. Uh, but I think these are kind of sleeper modules here in that you can control things like you'll see the H90, other hardware, and also your computer. You could control plugins and uh, essentially use this amazing modulation source to modulate other things besides itself. So one thing to note is that even though this is a Buchla clone system, uh, what we're about to talk about can be used for Eurorack or Serge or any modular system really. So let's go focus on this uh, 207 mixer module for a second. You'll notice there's nothing plugged in. And that is because I have everything wired in the back to go in and out of jacks in the back of the case, essentially for cleanliness. So kind of bear that in mind when I go over what's going on here. You see this row of yellow switches and this row of blue switches. The blue switches send audio for the six channels out to the main outputs. It kind of turns audio on and off essentially, and then you have the faders. These yellow switches send the audio uh, pre-fader to the monitor output, which is mono. So the way I have things set up is the monitor output goes into input one on the H90, and then outputs one and two go into the expansion input and get mixed to the output of the 207. And then that output goes into inputs three and four on the H90 and outputs three and four go to my interface. So the reason I have it set up that way is so I can send audio to one of the two slots for algorithms in the H90 and that way not send everything. But then I could also at the end of the day, sum everything too and send it out through the H90. And I could kind of tweak things around without having to repatch using the routing options in the H90. So starting off with the first example, let's clock the H90 from the modular. So to do that, we're gonna start with the 245. We have this clock section, clock is coming out. We're gonna send that clock, and the clock is relatively slow. You can see here kind of the lights progressing. I kind of like to start with a slow clock. We take that, we send that into the 4MS shuffling clock multiplier, multiply it by two, and then send that into input eight on the CV thing. Input eight is configured to take clock pulses, turn them into uh, MIDI clock, which is then sent to the H90. And you could kind of see here the voltage kind of ticking up, just to show the what's going on there. So with all that set up, let's see what the H90 is seeing. So I have the H90 set up as MIDI clock as the tempo source. So let's see. All right, so it's showing 123 BPM. So let's kind of adjust the clock on the modular and make sure that it's actually controlling it and I'm not tricking you. And you'll notice it kind of goes a little weird sometimes, it takes a bit to settle down. And I assure you that that is on the CV thing side and not on the H90, um, just the algorithm for turning the pulses into the MIDI clock. 
But anyways, it settles down, it always does. It settled down to 63 BPM, so let's use that. So why is that exciting? Well, let's see, I have a voice set up, so let's first hear that. All right, so that's going on. Um, I'm gonna point your eyes to these LEDs here. That audio right now is getting set to the main output and three and four are lighting up, showing that the audio is going into inputs three and four. Now, if I turn on uh, the yellow switch to the monitor out, you'll see input one lighting up. I'm not going to do that yet so because let's get this preset loaded up. So right now I have init program and I have this rosebud preset provided by Eventide loaded in. So um, let's hear what that sounds like first. So I'll send it in and you can see now audio is going into input one. So let's do something fun now with the tempo. So right now, uh, bouquet delay algorithm is being uh, set with a 191 millisecond delay. Um, so let's clock sync it. You press these two buttons. You see that logo? Now it's synced to clock. So what does that sound like? Let's see. And also note that uh, the mix is set to 100%, and what we're only listening to now is the delayed signal. So now let's mix in the original. All right, so let's turn that to a division. You can maybe obviously hear the synchronization. Here we go. Oh, the baby moved. So you hear that kind of ping pong back and forth in sync. So let's speed up the clock a little. Nice. So I just modulated the clock. Here we can modulate with our manually the delay kind of divisions. And you know what? Let's set it up with MIDI CC control. So we hold down the parameter. Uh, the parameter is delay. Control source. Let's go to MIDI CC. I'm going to use, let's see, I have the Defaco set up input one. Let's turn that down a little bit. Input one sends CC14. So let's set that up. CC14. Perfect. Um, and here we want it to go the full range, you know, just for fun. So from no delay all the way to whole delay. Baby jumping everywhere. So right now it's set to, let's, I don't know, pick 164th, right? We have nothing modulating input one yet. So now let's modulate it. So I have uh, random fluctuating voltages coming out of the source of uncertainty. Let's have that into input one. The FACO, MIDI CC 14 out. And you can see now the fluctuating random voltages are controlling the uh, H90. So what does that sound like? So here's dry, and here's wet. Well. 